Hi guys, my name is Puspendra, and in this video, I came with a new topic which is layout constraint. In this video, we will know how you can handle the constraint, how you can use a single view for a multiple screens, in single design for multiple screen like iPhone 4s, iPhone XR, or iPhone 6s. We have multiple uh, multiple iPhones and in this trick i will tell you how you can use a single view for a multiple screens so let's begin with the development and see how we can do that so at the very first i am creating one new project with the name layout constraint and we will start from the main storyboard okay in main storyboard first of all we will run and build it's loading so this is a blank screen so here we will add one view uh, we can say it's a button now this is my button I'll change the background of this one text color to white let it be like that I want this button should be remain same for all the screen we have different different screen if we see iPhone X 4s see on 4s where it came 8 plus for it plus is something good iPhone SE you can see how it's affecting according to the screen so we have to fix that on the basis of a screen doesn't matter what iPhone you are using and what are the functionality you are going to implement so let's say this is the main part for the constraint add new constraint from here you have to add the constraint to your selected view this is my button I want to add the constraint to this button so I have to select from here and I want to give some margin from the right side some margin from the left side and some margin from the top side and I want to fix the height of this button so let's say the margin is 20 same from to left side same from right side and same from top side and I want to fix the height to we can say 100 okay so now let's see the output now if you will run this uh, code on any uh, even orientation also you will see if we change the orientation also then same width and height will be from the all side and uh, if you change the phone also then same will be from the all type of phone doesn't matter it is 4s doesn't matter it is x pro whatever so you can see the button is coming into the uh, proper uh, position so now another question how we can use button with different text view or different label so let's say I'm scrolling down now I'm taking one label I will give left side constraint, right side constraint and top side constraint and bottom side constraint. I will not fix the height of this label because this label can contain a multiple lines. That's why. So same 20, 20, 20, 20. Okay. So we have set from the all the side 20, 20, 20. I won't enable this button for multiple line so select here lines how many lines let's say I want to give uh, maximum 20 lines let's enter now how you can uh, add the data for 20 lines 
I have this data already written putting it now you can see it's automatically get stretched and it will change on the basis of height and width of the phone so let's say if you are in 4s then what will be the scenario how it will looks like for 4s you can see many line came and 8 plus have different if you see same thing into the tab then something different will come now you can see so that is the use of layout constraint how you can use how you can adjust your view according to the screen and how you can modify your design so it's all about that i hope you like the video and if you like the video then please subscribe my channel so that you can get a latest update about the new video because new video will be very important for you thank you so much have a great time